the Akita Horse Show in Lyon played host to the second leg of the FEI World Cup Western European League. Lyon hosts dressage, driving and jumping World Cups at this equestrian festival and it was the perfect location for the European Olympic and World Cup champion Jessica von Bredo Verndel to make her return to the highest level of the sport after the birth of her daughter. Alongside the German ace were compatriots Isabel Wirth and her brother Benjamin in this star-studded field. At the moment I plan from competition to competition and that was my start now with Formoso. He's one of the most special horses ever in my life so far. He's very intelligent so when I explain him something then he seems to really understand quickly. Of course the, the, the final is always something I'm dreaming of. I wrote it already once and um, I'll try it again this year. Another man aiming to put down an early marker in the 22-23 campaign was Sweden's Patrick Kittle, with his young and exciting equine partner, Touchdown. It's a very young partnership, but he has a tremendous way of just wanting to please the rider, and he's, he makes me feel very secure that it's going to go well. I love it here, the audience is so cool. Touchdown seems to like it here, and also likes the attention for the FEI. I think just, you know, to come here, you know you're going to ride against the best in Lyon. You know, you have world champions here, you have like, you know, the Queen Isabel, you have the current Olympic champion. I mean, it's tough, but that's also the fun. The Lyon field consisted of four riders from the host nation, and the pick of those was Morgan Babanson. She and Sir Donna Hill were making their fifth successive appearance at the Lyon World Cup leg, and had never finished higher than ninth, but that was all to change this year. The pair scored 77.255% and they shot to the top of the leaderboard at the halfway stage. Nana Merald Rasmussen and her 17-year-old mare Atta Upgards Othelia were competing at their second Lyon World Cup leg as a partnership, having come here one year ago. But this year was an uncharacteristically low score of 78.930% would leave them in fifth place overall, a whole 5% lower than in 2021. Benjamin Verndor and Formoso were competing in only their second Western European leg together, having finished fourth in Newminster in 2020. And they were to repeat that feat here in Lyon. A score of 82.775% lifted the pair briefly into third place, only to be denied a podium finish by last to go Patrick Kittle. Kittle and his 10-year-old partner Touchdown were making their Western European League debut together in the Liam Eurexpo and put down a statement performance for the future. Having finished third in the Grand Prix a day earlier, the pair sealed third spot again in the freestyle with an impressive score of 84.630%, giving the Swede his highest placing at Lyon since 2018. Isabel Wirth had won the last five runnings of the FEI World Cup dressage leg in Lyon, with both Firegold and Emilio, but it wasn't to be this year for Wirth and the latter. The partnership scored a huge 87.945%, their second highest score as a combination, this is a great start, but I, I know the, the, the freestyle of him is really beautiful, really good, uh, and it fixed him very well. Uh, but at the end, you, it's, it's right, it will be difficult uh, to get uh, and to keep this level, but uh, we will try. But it still wasn't enough to take the top spot from the returning Jessica Von Bredo Verndel. That was mainly down to Von Bredo Verndel and TSF Dallera BB securing their seventh score over 90% at the French leg. An enormous 90.140 blew away the rest of the field and cemented the fact that the world's number one partnership were back. I used the whole pregnancy break to create a new freestyle. The choreography is just perfect. The music, I get goosebumps when I ride on this music and um, to come back with over 90% with my new freestyle is very cool. Join us again in two weeks' time to see if the world's number one partnership can repeat their performance on home soil in Stuttgart. <laughs>